Hello guys, this is Engineer Leo Ramos of College of Engineering and Computer Technology of Wesleyan University, Philippines. Today, we're going to discuss a series of communication systems, laboratories, and experiments. For the series of communication systems laboratories, this is the typical setup. So we have here the digital oscilloscope, that is the 25 MHz digital dual scope. We have also the De Lorenzo special module, so we have analog signal transmission module, which is the D155M60. We have here the function generator, so that is responsible for producing different signals for signal processing and we have these another modules from the DiLorenzo, the digital communication modules or the D155M61. We have the digital signal transmission modules or the DL3155M62 and lastly we have the auxiliary modules that supports Laboratories in Communication System. For every laboratory is an experiment in communication system, the student must be able to calibrate the equipment to be used. On this session, I will teach you how to calibrate the digital oscilloscope and function generator. So in setting up an oscilloscope, make sure that you have this logic probe. This is the logic probe for channel 1 and you have another logic probe for channel 2. So this is the same kind. Okay. Secure the logic probe on the channel 1 and channel 2 slot. Then you're ready to go. Power up the oscilloscope using this power up button. So this oscilloscope is Wheeler WDSO2025CL model. And then, using your logic probe for channel 1, insert it on the oscilloscope internal signals. So these signals is 3 volt peak to peak, 1 kilohertz signals. So meaning to say, all of the oscilloscope probe must measure at least 1 kilohertz frequency signal with 3 ball peak to peak. So I will insert both mod, uh, both proof on these signals and make sure that the ground for sec for secure for security you need to ground the oscilloscope together with the ground of the probe. And next, you need to press the auto button. The auto button is responsible for calibrating the signal within the signal of the oscilloscope. As you can see, we have here two signals okay, for both channels, channel 1 and channel 2. So as you can see here, the measurement so the amplitude of channel 1 is 3 volts, as I've said, and the frequency is 1 kilohertz. For channel 2, we have 3 volts amplitude and the 1 kilohertz frequency. So if you have this kind of reading, meaning to say that your oscilloscope is already calibrated. After calibrating the oscilloscope, we are now going to calibrate the function generator. Okay, so like with the oscilloscope, we need also this logic probe in order to get the output of our function generator. Okay, so we have the logic probe attached at the output of the 50 ohms signals here. And uh, 
power on this power button. So you can see there is a number indicating here. So that is 845 Hertz. So a function generator can able to generate frequencies, variable frequencies. So depending upon on the frequencies you're going to use in the experiment. So you can uh, position this knob in order to change the required frequencies for the experiment. So in this case, I'm making a clockwise uh, direction so it increases in frequency and counterclockwise movement on this knob will decrease the frequency. For the frequency that is larger from uh, kilohertz range, so you can select this button or this knob into a kilohertz range. So as you can see here, there is a kilohertz range. So the signals currently on, that is generated by this function generator is about 7.76 kilohertz. So I will verify the signals if it is 7.76 kilohertz using the calibrated oscilloscope and in order to do that I will going to use this channel 1 in the digital oscilloscope this is a channel 1 and I will get the signal at the output of the function generator so make sure that it is being rounded on the oscilloscope probe and using this auto shift button so you are expecting to view the 7.76 kilohertz okay so this is the 7.76 kilohertz signals generated by your function generator so a function generator can able to generate different waveforms so in this case we are seeing a sinusoidal signals but we can change it into a triangular signals or a rectangular signals so in order to do that you need to, to to select which signals you need to use in your experiment so if you if you press this uh, button here so it will give you a sinusoidal signals if you push this button, so you will give a triangular signals and if you push this button, you will have a rectangular signals. So I will uh, push these triangular signals, so observe what will happen on the output of our oscilloscope. So it should show a triangular waveform. So as you can see, there is a triangular waveform having the same frequency that is the 7.78 kHz and it is being displayed at your function generator but if I want a rectangular signals I can push this button right here and then you have a rectangular signals For more videos regarding communication system, please like, share, and subscribe this channel.